Hey guys, it's Davis here with CCTV. Today we're talking about silver. So some questions we commonly get are, why should I invest in silver? How do I begin investing in silver? What silver is worth investing in? Okay, um, these are all really good questions. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at each one of those separately and we're gonna go into a little bit more detail. So when you deal with silver, First off, why you should invest is put, make your money work for you. Um, it's a protective asset. It's backed by what it is. And what I mean by that is it's not a fiat currency. Fiat currencies are feel-good currencies. There's nothing that backs it other than we say it's good. It's commonly accepted. But given the example of you know silver, silver is backed by silver. Now, when you deal in silver, there's two main categories you're going to find out. One's called sovereign silver, and one's called bullion. Okay, Sovereign silver are things like your cougarans, your maple leaves, your silver eagles, you know, coin silver. They're, and bullion is just, you know, one ounce rounds or bars. They can come in, you know, a variety of sizes, but that's basically the big difference. So what winds up happening a lot of times is it's a lot of information people get thrown at them really fast. So it takes a moment to process. So when you deal with silver, like specifically sovereign silver, okay, there's, you know, these are silver eagles. You know, this is a Morgan silver dollar. Okay. They both have silver in them. But one's what we would call coin silver. Okay, coin silvers are going to be like your Kennedy, some of your Kennedy halves, some of your quarters, your Mercury dimes, you know your Morgans, silver dollars. All of those have silver in them. The difference is, is any silver coin produced by the U.S. is going to be either ninety or forty percent silver. Okay. There are a few exceptions, but they're oddities, and that's another video in and of itself. So, as a hard and fast rule, you know, how do you start investing? Okay. You know, a lot of people start freaking out. They say, well, I, you know, I, I don't have $10,000 to relax. You don't need that much. So... A ounce of silver at some points in time cost as little as like 15 bucks a piece, which is not terrible. Right now it's a little bit higher, but as with anything that deals with the market, it can be higher or lower. So how you start investing, what I tell people is set aside $50 from every paycheck. Say, okay, I'm going to come down to the shop and I'm going to buy $50 worth of silver. We will you know, sometimes it'll be more silver, sometimes it'll be less. Then you just set that off to the side, okay? What you're looking for is to start protecting some of your assets. Silver has a few advantages over other assets. One being is it's always going to be worth something, okay? Always, 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 always. Silver is worth something in the U.S., it's worth something in China, it's worth something in Timbuktu. It's always going to be worth something. No matter where you go in the world, silver will be have value to it. Whereas U.S. paper currency may or may not. It may sometimes be worth less. Okay, It's a protective asset. You know, it, it, it's something you can physically hold versus sitting there and saying, okay, I've got stocks and bonds. Yeah, those are cool, and you should invest in those. But sometimes it's important to sit there and say, okay, this is mine. It is in my hand. I own it. You know, I it can't get lost in the fire. It's there. Okay. Silver will always have a value. Okay. Always. So a lot of people sit there and say, oh, I can buy that cheaper online. Sometimes you can. You know, people do get lucky. But one of the major benefits you have of coming into a shop like ours, we deal in the stuff. We deal in silver. 
Okay. We're on the lookout, you know, for fakes. You were frauds, things that happen. Unfortunately, there are people out there that like to cheat people. It sucks, but it's true. Okay. So one of the examples of what I'm talking about is like, you know, this was bought online. Okay. It looks an awful lot like this. You know, they're the right color, they're the right size, about the right weight. So the big difference is, is if you look right over here, it says copy. So basically, this is silver clad. It's somebody electroplated it. Sorry about that. It's not worth an ounce of, it's not an ounce of silver. Okay. This, on the other hand, is a real true ounce of silver. Okay. That's one of the big benefits you get coming into a shop. You get to see it, you get to touch it, it's yours, you know it's it's real. You don't have to worry about it getting lost in the mail. You don't have to worry about, you know, hey, is this the right one? Or where do I, suppose, you know, if I decide it's time to sell, where do I sell it? You come to us. It's that simple. Um, so with that being said, I'm Davis Miller for CCTV, and we'll look forward to seeing you all guys again.